Use this device to help minimize temperature shock on your sperm samples. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Sam, your host here. Today we're going to be demonstrating the semen tube thar and warmer. Please like and subscribe below for more great videos to come. As a dog breeder, you know that your semen samples are very valuable, but also very sensitive, especially to temperature changes. This product is designed to help. So what is the product exactly? Well, it's a warmer designed to either A, keep your sperm samples warm during transport from a fresh ejaculation, or B, warm up chilled semen samples in preparation for artificial insemination. Use this device to help minimize temperature shock on your sperm samples and help maximize temperature stabilities, which in turn will protect your investment and increase your chance for successful breedings. So here's the product itself, weighing just a couple pounds and really no bigger than a large thermos. So the device itself is very simple. On the back side, you just have the handle, you have the power on button, click it and it's powered off, click it back and it's powered on, and the recharging and power port. So the heating element in the inside is made out of stainless steel for easy cleaning. Note that this has a built-in rechargeable battery and it will last for quite a long time, even all day long. We recommend charging it fully prior to mobilizing it or taking it anywhere. But just note that it is a rechargeable device. You can unplug it from the power source and will continue heating. And then on the right hand side, this indicator will turn green once the desired and preset temperature has been reached. and will turn red when it's kicking up and heating again. You'll see it fluctuate between red and green as you're using it, just because the power source needs to turn back on to get the heat back to the preset temperature. We're gonna recommend setting it from about 37 to 38 degrees Celsius. That will warm up your semen sample close to its natural biological temperature within the animal. The next great feature we have with this device, if you remove the cap, is a special 3D printed holder. With this device, you're capable of placing many different tubes inside the warmer, including two milliliter micro tubes, 15 milliliter tubes, 50 milliliter tubes, and even semen straws. Now you can also use the device as a water bath. Simply fill it up with water, set it to the temperature, turn it on, let the water warm up, and then place your semen samples inside. However, this nifty device will help you keep your tubes in place and free from spills. Setup can be accomplished easily. On the left hand side here you see the current temperature at 36.9. The LED indicator on the right is red indicating that it will heat, continue heating up until it reaches its preset 37. So to change this all we have to do is press the set button once and then use the plus or minus buttons and you'll see a change by a tenth of a degree with each push of the button. Once the desired temperature is reached, press the set button again. Press it a second time, we'll move on to the thawing countdown. Once it turns on, this number begins counting down. It will only go up to five minutes. We only recommend using this for shorter term thaws, such as with semen straws. Hit set. The third setting is the stability and temperature differences. Again, press that a third time. So leave that third setting at 0 0.1. And then at the fourth setting, or pressing the set button four times, is just gonna be for a temperature calibration, if there's any difference in the actual temperature and the reported temperature. You can account for that by adding or subtracting degrees. So you see the five dotted lines there, it means it's saving the settings. Once it returns to the screen, it will begin warming and functioning as programmed. So we're gonna quickly demonstrate instructions for artificial insemination with a chilled semen sample. Now remember, as the ultimate rule of thumb, if you're adding any extender to your processed semen, you wanna make sure that both of them are at like temperatures. So this means warm with warm or cold with cold. Introducing cold extender to a warm semen can cause a massive kill off or stasis of your sperm samples and result in a poor pregnancy or mist. So be careful and remember like goes with like. So this sample for purposes of demonstration has already been mixed with extender. We're gonna take it out cold from the fridge, warm it up in our hands for just a few minutes. 
All right, so after a couple minutes is up, we're gonna open the lid on our warmer. Just be sure that it's turned on and pre-warmed up to the desired temperature or the warm-up will take longer. Next, we're gonna place the sample into our warmer. Just wanna make sure that the warmer is turned on in the back and that it has had sufficient time, approximately five to 10 minutes, to warm up to the desired temperature. Place it inside the holder. Close the cap. After the five to 15 minutes is up, remove your warm sample and prepare for your artificial insemination. Thanks for joining, this is Sam with K9P4. Like and subscribe below and we'll see you next time.